All right, here is an update on my tilapia. And my aquaponic system. Look how clear this water is. I mean, you can see all the way down to the bottom. The fish are extremely happy. Uh, there is the two inch PVC riser pipe. Now it has holes in the bottom and slits on each of the sides. And I also have a um, skimmer over here. And that skimmer is really important because um, it also has slits on the sides there. So it allows water to go through. And also big particles will, will go through. And they keep on trying to cook themselves. And um, has a little lip there at the, uh, at the height there. So when I do put feed in here, um, it won't go down into the skimmer tube. Now the skimmer tube and the two inch over there go into my swirl filter and the swirl filter is a modified rain barrel that I got from walmart.com. I think it was only like um, 45 bucks. So, I mean, it already has um, all the little features that you need to have on it. So it's actually cheaper for me to get this. And I have, um, I have some some of this right here and what I did is I put a hole in it slid it over a two inch pipe and now all the junk is coming from the bottom uh, there down to the bottom of this tank and then of course it's skimming off of this and going to the bottom of the swirl tank also and this filter this uh, this filter stuff is allowing all the sediments to stay underneath and all the clean stuff to go out here which goes into my goldfish pond um everything has just gone wild over here i mean i have all sorts of look at all the the uh, tomatoes i mean there's tomatoes everywhere on this thing and got some big tomatoes i uh, got some mums and the mums help keep away the horned um caterpillar thingies that love to eat your tomato plants so that and dill just placed sporadically in here keeps those darn things away which is awesome now this is an aquaponics system. However, I also have a hydroponics uh, four inch PVC over here that I drilled some holes. I put the, um, the expanded clay in here and I planted different things, including the top of a, a pineapple, which is growing amazingly. Uh, this, this is mint and it's just, it's just, it, it's a weed, man. I'm telling you, it's great. Oh, this is lettuce. I put some lettuce in here and just let it go because while well, I was on vacation and I come back and look, it's, it's sprouted up. It's seeding at the very top here. And this one even has little, little flowers. I mean, this is lettuce that should be like in a nice little clump. It's, it's grown like, look at that. It's grown like a, a, a vine. Have you ever seen, look at that. Have you ever seen such a thing? It, it's crazy. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I think that it might be cantaloupe because, well, look at this thing, cantaloupe growing. I mean, um, they're growing everywhere. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Anyway, this right here is my my little goldfish slash a couple of my um, um, tilapia and my little spontaneous fish. Okay, this is the weirdest thing. I don't know what they are, but I have little black fish in here that I don't know what they are. They just spontaneously are part of my system and I never put them in there. Uh, anyway, so this right here is awesome. It has a little pump and uh, water flows into here. I'm eventually gonna put a PVC connection and hook it up to the big uh, the big water pump. But until then, uh, this is fine. And then it goes to the very bottom here, drops back off and goes into the system. I have a little T here to make sure I can see that water is flowing because sometimes, well, that dump pump just doesn't want to, uh, to poop for some reason. All right, there that goes. And it goes pretty regular, I mean, these, these bell siphons that I that I made were just uh, just after um, you can see it right here. I put a little tube on there, so it creates a good suction and and uh, releases quite well. And um, all the water, also just like in the other tank, I have this right here that allows water to go through um, and filter anything off the top up here, and then it comes through here and it drops down into um, another T, which makes the water go that way and this way and this is my duckweed pond now my duckweed pond also has um, a 500 watt heater and then i just threw in another 200 watt that i had um, i just don't usually want the michael put in here and i got a 500 watt in this one a 500 watt in the swirl tank and a 500 watt heater in the tilapia tank and it keeps them really nice and uh, comfortably warm i also have some 
tanks here that I flipped upside down. I'm going to uh, put some black hose around through here. So during the day, during the winter time, I can have a solar heater that would help that. And I got the pump over here. So I got the pump and the hose. I'm gonna put it all together and I'll pump it during the day, only on nice days, to help keep the water nice and warm. So basically that's my entire system. Um, all the solids and everything um, are filtered off the top, filtered from the bottom, go into a swirl tank. All the solids stay in here. All the clean water goes in there. Um, all the solids, those goldfish and everything else, they just tear that up down there. And unfortunately, if there's any more solids um, that are floating around, which sometimes there are, I mean, it, it happens, it gets sucked up into this and eventually it goes into the duck weed pond. And you can see on the bottom there, all the black stuff, that is all, um, you know, fish junk, which of course breaks down and my duckweed love it. And then of course I can feed my duckweed to my tilapia and um, they love it it's good for them there you go guys eat the duckweed and they love it and uh, so there they go they're eating the duckweed I can feed them uh, the duckweed I feed them uh, other stuff this right here keeps uh, some other sediment and junk that could be coming through from the main pump down there but you know, it comes out crystal clear. And look at that. It's just amazing how clear that water is. And also, see that little lip there? It keeps um, anything from falling down there that I don't want down there, like feed and, and, to, and um, the, uh, the duckweed. But anyways, that's my system. Uh, when it gets um, cold, I will put the uh, tarp thing back over the, uh, the greenhouse, keep all the heat and everything in here. And this is just an amazing system. It's fun. It's uh, interesting. It's great to build. I mean, it's just, it's just fun. And then of course I can come out here and just watch the tilapia. I made little brick hotels basically in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I made little brick hotels and they love it. And um, it's just, it's just fun. So anyways, um, I know this video is kind of long, but that is. Oh, I forgot one more thing catastrophic if something happened to where let's say that this uh, bell siphon um, clogged up or something in here clogged up and then the water started to rise in here what would happen well it start to overflow unless you have a catastrophic overflow which is what that pipe is right there so water would eventually would just come out and go back into this tank um, plus some other catastrophic stuff Oh, here we go. One more catastrophic thing. So let's say that this swirl filter, let's say that that thing gets blocked for some reason. Let's say something falls in here. Let's say that that comes up and blocks it. Well, no problem. See, the rain barrel actually had an overflow. And now I have this right here is a one and a quarter inch and it goes back in here. So even if that's clogged completely, the water will not overflow and I won't lose any water. Everything is about not losing water and making sure that your fish and plants and everything stay um, hydrated in case of something that could go wrong. So anyways, fish are happy, uh, squirrel tank is happy, all my plants are happy, I'm going to have melons and tomatoes and, and lettuce out the yin yang apparently. <laughs> um, have an amazing day. I told you about the mums, right? Keeps those darn horn caterpillars away and the dill in there helps keep them away. And Oh, this is so fun. So fun. Oh, this is either apple or lemon. I threw some seeds in there and they're starting to grow. How about that? So they're they're trees. Anyway, I'm gonna have fun playing with this stuff and chopping down some of my lettuce. Look at this lettuce. What the hell? This is doesn't even look like lettuce, does it? Vines of lettuce. Oh, I'm gonna have vines of lettuce tonight. Actually, you know what? It almost looks like broccoli, doesn't it? But it's lettuce, I think. Oh well. Have a great day. And thank you for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And I will keep you up to date with how this works and how well this works over wintertime. And wintertime is going to get cold. Let's see how this works.